Hello everyone, welcome to part 4 of this milestone 6. Uh, yes, I know I told, I say in the last one then we're gonna jump in the mobile side, but uh, I just want to refactoring a bit the back end before going there. Um, yeah, so when I started this tutorial, I was kind of beginner with AppSign and thing like this. And now I just think we can change up a bit the folder structure to make it like, uh, I, I, I think, easier to maintain. So this is what we're gonna do. So that don't gonna be a lot of coding, but that's gonna be a big refactoring. And I think we're gonna win at the end of this because that's gonna be much more simpler to follow all the pattern. So what we're gonna do first, it's first thing I'm gonna uh, put bigger size 19. Okay. First thing, just before we jump, I just want to show you an extension. I didn't even know before like uh, one week ago. If you search for Elixir, you're gonna have um, Elixir formatter. If you put this, uh, that's gonna work almost like prettier with uh, JavaScript, and this is really awesome. I know you can run the mix formatter from the command line, but I kind of like it. So, example, if we go and see one file like this one, we can just command, uh, like just run a command, option, a shift, option F, and that give me this kind of stuff here. Or you can just do shift command p and search for format document that's going to do the same as you can see look at the difference now they uh you just i mean it's the elixir uh, formatter so it's pretty nice perfect what we're gonna do we're gonna create a folder in the instagram web called graphql so we're gonna put everything about graphql why we're gonna do this it's because if we want to make the application work with a rest api because I don't know, like we have some legacy application in the front end or thing like this or whatever you want. Uh, I think it's gonna be easier if all the, the, the code about GraphQL go inside one place. What we're gonna do now, it's after doing this, inside this GraphQL, we're gonna just put everything we need about GraphQL inside this folder. So the schema EX, schema folder, resolver folder. That's it. Now, if we go inside the schema, we're gonna change this to now be called graphql.schema, like that, okay? So it's not a big change, but this change now, we're gonna need to take this uh, line here, all this module name, go inside the router and change here in both places because we want to tell this is the schema is inside this module. Okay, perfect. Now I want to change my schema name, my schema folder name because I think that don't make sense. They are type. You see, we import type, and the schema that ex for me it's like my root. So what I want is I'm gonna change the name of this to be called types. Uh, if you want to know how I did that without clicking here, I just click enter. If you click enter in Visual Studio Code, that give you this um, update uh, state. So now we're gonna copy this GraphQL here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change schema to be GraphQL.types, like that. So now I'm gonna copy this one and I'm gonna change it right there. Also, I want to get my middleware out of this schema, okay? And so we're gonna change schema here to just be called GraphQL. Remember, I put a big Q and L like that. So now we have all of this. But now we're gonna need to change this or import type. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take the full here. I think it's gonna just become much more easier if we do this this way. Like that. And we paste it like this. And I run the formatter and now we get all of them. Why I don't run the formatter from the command line? I just like to uh, see the file changing and see what happens. So if something broke, I can see this in the same time. The resolver also we're gonna change. So we, now that's gonna be not just that resolver, that's gonna be graphql.resolver. Same for the post here. And same for the account. Okay. So here we have changed a lot of them. I run here, perfect, perfect. So now here we have the types, we have everything. Now the thing is uh, here we have Instagram web schema middleware. It's not schema anymore, it's graphql. And this is the same uh, for the resolver. Perfect. So now I'm gonna run the server to see if we break something. 
looks like we didn't break nothing but we have some stuff <laughs> like we don't use so inside post post type so if we go to post type we don't need import query perfect so now i'm gonna just close it back and we run it uh instagram resolver reaction in post type we must have the resolver here we need to pass graphql i'm gonna close it again and now it looks like everything will work so now if i'm logged remember a graph playground you can put your http header right there and now if i click looks like everything will work so now everything we have done gonna still work search tag so this is one video i see and i've done two videos on monday and i see this one they didn't get almost any view like a like a 10 view and the other one 80 but the search tag uh, video it's kind of really important so if you go and look for the part number two of this milestone that's going to be where we can uh, search for like wind and here you can get um, the tag you search and i think it's going to be really important uh, uh, for the uh, future video so yeah so i'm going to put the link in the description about the video i, I talked about the one i think a lot of people are missing so we're gonna have this one uh, it's just a big format uh, we just reformat stuff i think it's gonna make more sense now everything about graphql is gonna be there all the other stuff uh, touch the web and the rest is inside the domain of uh, the instagram right there so next video trust me it's gonna be mobile sign we're gonna do the we're gonna add the tag in the creation of the photo and we're gonna need to have a page where we can search for the tag so i hope you enjoy and we talk in the next one have a good day everyone bye